Okay, hello everybody. I've, uh, I'm on to the final stage of building my control box for the N-Scale Mini Layout project. And I've already gone ahead and taken off the control knobs uh, from there, but I do still have to go ahead and remove, uh, or take all the, the nuts off that hold on the various controls and uh, slide those out. And then apply the uh, um, label that I created for the, the words and track diagram and so forth. Um, so basically I just used a word processor program and put all the labels that I wanted on my uh, control box on here. I made a small track diagram um, on which the controls for the turnouts will sit or, or poke through. And, um, and that's pretty much it. And this basically was sort of a trial and error process. I originally did this with uh, just black lettering and it was all white. And until I, until I got everything to line up just right, basically I would print everything out. Um, you know, put it down on top of the control box, see if everything lined up okay with where the holes were and everything. Um, so I didn't have something poking through one of the words in terms of one of the controls. And once I, once I got everything um, set up the way I wanted to, what I did was go ahead and change all the lettering to white. And then I made a, uh, I put a black background on that portion of the paper. And then I printed this out on a full label sheet. So basically this is a peel and stick sheet that I can cut out and then once I remove the controls from the box, I can go ahead and just, uh, you know, apply that on there like a, like a, like a sticker. And that will um, give me my, uh, you know, my, my labeling that I need. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and spray on some protective uh, coating on here to keep uh, things from wearing off over time. And then it's just gonna, it will just be a matter of uh, putting the uh, controls back, back in place. Um, getting everything screwed down good and the you know the control knobs put back on and then the control box will be complete so, so I will proceed now with uh, getting everything applied Basically, I'm aligning everything initially by the location of this top control. Um, if I center that in the opening up here, everything else should line up exactly where I want it in terms of the, uh, the holes coming through in the right places, um, you know, everywhere else. Okay, so now the holes are cut out for the controls, and uh, so you can get, get an idea that everything will line up reasonably close to being uh, correct. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and apply a coat of some clear matte finish. So in the process of taking everything apart and reassembling everything, I apparently messed up a wire on one of these uh, toggles. I think it was this one up here. Um, so I'll have to take this back apart again here and, and re-solder a connection, but um, otherwise everything is working good after the uh, disassembly and reassembly process of doing everything here. 
Um, the label worked out pretty well. Again, this was just a, a white uh, full sheet label that you can get for an inkjet or laser printer. I uh, printed out everything in black, uh, or all the text and track diagram in black first, and then once that looked good in terms of the location, I basically tried this about you know four or five times to get everything lined up how I wanted it. And then once everything was good, I went back and printed everything with a black background and white lettering so it blended in with the rest of the control box and, uh, um, you know, stuck it on there. And, and then I applied several layers of a, of a, of a matte finish coat to, uh, to protect the surface so nothing will wear off. I also just went along and just put a, uh, this is a little shiny stripe here. I basically went through and brushed on a thin coating of uh, super glue around the perimeter to you know, help hopefully prevent the uh, edges from peeling up over time um, just from, you know, rubbing your hand back and forth along the edge there and, you know, that kind of thing when you're holding it. So we'll see how that works out. Now, the only downside of that being a paper label um, was that it did cause a little bit of bubbling. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but in a few areas it kind of bubbled up a little bit. Um, yeah, I probably, uh, you know, if I would have applied it a little bit thinner, um, and from a little bit farther distance where it went on fully dry, then I probably maybe wouldn't have had that problem. It's just not very noticeable and it's just in a couple spots, but, uh, um, you know, something to keep, you know, obviously it's paper. And so if you, if you get it wet, you're going to have some wrinkling problems. So, um, but that's, that's the only thing, but overall it looks pretty good, I think. And, uh, I'm more or less happy with it. And so for the most part, the control box is complete. I've also gone ahead and marked the uh, colors here on the jacks in the back of the layout. So the red wires will plug into here, the blue wires here, and the black wires up on top uh, when, when you're plugging in the control box. And, uh, you know, so the wiring aspect is complete. So anyway, one last look at the control box. And again, I'll show this again um, once I do a, a wrap up of the layout and an operating session. But anyway, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye.